I'm out for the first time camping in about 10 years. Last time I was camping was at a bike rally. You can imagine how that went. Um, but last time I really seriously camped, i.e. hiking and camping, must be 30, 35 years ago. I used to be a scout leader, stuff like that. I used to be out in my Phoenix Freak and stuff on Kinder and whatever. So yeah, uh, it's gonna be quite an interesting day, but no wild camping, I'm being a bit cautious. I'm gonna nip over to Edel, up a booth campsite. I booked in there for the night. And then what I'm gonna do is basically just put the tent up, get used to putting the tent up, see how I go with my pack. It's weighing in at 15 kilo, which is probably a little bit heavy, but uh, I'm sure I'll learn how to bring that down over time. My missus says, if you took the microwave in the kitchen sink with you. Anyway, that's where we're going. We're just heading down uh, Holliford Lane now, the old corpse road. I don't know what it means, but there's a smile upon your face. And I see something... Well, about halfway up Holland's Cross. Fuck me, mate. <laughs> Got a stitch already. I start getting out and about with this pack on my back a lot more often. I've been doing with about 12 kilos on just round uh, these hills over here. But uh, fuck me, mate. <laughs> this will burn some calories anyway. So, yeah. We're just going to head up here now, about halfway up, maybe just over, and then drop down into Edale. So that should be a bit easier going then. Cracking lovely day today as well. So uh, quite a few people out, but yeah, we're going to head on up here still anyway and crack on. Here we are at Hollins Cross. We're heading just down into Edale over there now. So I'll catch up with you when we get to the bottom. In your eyes. And they say if you want a glimpse the future you need space And you said you'll put down your morning gun We're headed down here to Upper Booth This is Barber Booth And uh, Jack's ladder goes up there and there's Edel Rocks And Wash Up Head's just behind us where we're going tomorrow morning hopefully And then Grindsbrook and I think that's a nab over there so yeah stunning so I think I finally got me pack sorted now <laughs> done a bit of adjusting and playing around with it on the way here because like it was uh, hurting my shoulders a little bit too much mm -hmm. so uh, I think I've got it sorted now the bulk of the weight in my hips rather than on my shoulders so a bit of faffing about and realising I've got a buddy long back <laughs> anyway we're headed down here towards that little bit of sunshine. Would you follow me to wonders? Take my hand and walk beside me in a world of thunder. Fear is an imposter. When you Find it hard to know. Lovely little Methodist chapel there. Wesleyan. We're heading down here towards Upper Booth. That's a Cowford tunnel. It goes underneath Kinder Scout and Brown Knoll. And there's the line back down to Edel Station. Got some visitors over there. <laughs> some uh, cockerels will no doubt wake us up. Toilet blocks there. I think Ken the scout behind us in the pen our way, so I might nip up to the pack horse bridge later. Get some water, chill out up there for a bit. But yeah, this is where we're gonna pitch for the night. The lower field, because the upper field, chock a block. Uh, there might be a reason for that, I don't know, but anyway, this looks pretty reasonably flat, that's probably all right. And uh, yeah, we'll get a tent set up.
And there we are. A known tent, Vern 1. Looking pretty stable, that. Lots of guys. Got the other tent sorted now. It's quite roomy in there. As you can see, and there's loads of pockets, and they've got the ground sheet down. Footprint as well. So all is good. We'll get unpacked now and get my stuff in and then come back to you. Oh, well, there we are, all set up inside. Plenty of room. I'll get the rucksack in here, probably get the rucksack in there actually. Got the bed laid out on a firm arrest, an ex bed mat, firm arrest pillow, some sleeping bag that uh, my partner got from when she worked in a charity shop. Loads of uh, pockets in this thing and venting. Feels warm already, so uh, yeah, it feels pretty robust actually. Don't think this is going to go anywhere, mate. Uh, it's not forecast anything too bad tonight, but uh, I think oh, I'm going to make a brew. I've got my uh, OEX stove here. It's like a cheap, cheaper version of the uh, jet boil, but from what Mr. Mesner says, there's not a lot of difference. So why pay 100 quid when you can pay 37 quid or whatever I paid for it? I've got some friends here. <laughs> I know what they're going to be doing at fucking nine o'clock this morning, don't we? I think there's some like DOE or something like that in the next uh, campsite. Um, upper field's all rammed, but we'll chill out now and then uh, we'll put the head up over the pack horse and maybe even have a wander over to Edel and get a sneaky pint. We'll see how we go and see what the time is by the time I've had some. Got these um, fire pot meals. I'm going to try them. They're quite expensive to be honest, but they're meant to be really nice. There's no additives in them or anything, but. I'll try them, but I don't think I'll be doing them every time I go out. Um, that was quite a good test of my fitness, that was actually. Uh, with a 15 kilo pack on, up all, in, up all in's cross was quite tough actually. So I need to work on my fitness, that's for sure. Um, tomorrow night I'm actually, I'm actually marshalling the uh, fell race, so the Castleton fell race. Been running for 30 years, but they've not done it for four years since the pandemic. So tomorrow's the first one, so I'll be marshalling somewhere along Lewes Hill. So that should be good fun. So yeah, anyway, without further ado, I'm just going to chill out in here for a while, and then I'm going to go for a wander in a bit and take in this wonderful scenery. Now I know how to put the tent. The tent was really easy to put up, but you can see from the fast forward. I mean, now I've got the uh, the ground sheet. Uh, connected up as well I think I can just fold it all away as one and then just put it out so yeah this vestibule was really good lots of space you can open these two doors up as well you know so yeah I'm pretty impressed with it really so we'll see how we get tonight sleeping on this map looks a bit small width wise so I'll have to see if I keep rolling off it or not but we'll see how we go this thing's amazing mate it's nearly boiled in been about two minutes yeah that's boiled Jesus, pretty cool that. And now I'm gonna have my chili con carne. This is a really good little set I got. It's an up and all picnic set, but it's quite a little nifty thing. The fork and the knife slot into the end of the knife, which is an open all knife. And if anyone who knows about open alls, you'll know these are the dogs when it comes to knives. So you've got a knife, fork, and a spoon. Slot that down there, and the fork simply slots in the end here, like that. And now you've got a fork or a spoon. Amazing, these little things just always impress me. Anyway, I'm going to eat this chili con carne, takes about 15 minutes now just to soak in boiling water. And then I might go for a walk over to Edel, try and get a better mobile, file, mobile signal. Just heading down to the Nags Head for a nice cider. See the great bridge behind me? I filmed this on the phone because uh, I left my camera back at the campsite. But yeah, fantastic. All set up, nice and warm, happy dinner. Off for a quick pint and chat to the missus since there's no signal right there. At the old um, campsite whatsoever. Where we were last night, did a bit of a stain where I was, but uh, that's what you get. A bit misty this morning. I think it's going to rain later when I'm doing the fell race. Well, marshalling the fell race, not doing the fell race. Well, we're going to head off now. 
back the way we came, but yeah, highly recommend this uh, campsite, Upper Booth. The toilets are immaculate and they're heated as well. So I think it's on the floor heating. You can see there, I just move that up. It's like a eco building, all like grass on the roof and that. And I think it's under floor heating from like geo heating, I think. Not 100% sore, but anyway, we're gonna head off now, about four miles or so back. All I heard this morning was cuckoos again. <laughs> this is like the Valley of the Cuckoos, mate. I'm just gonna check and make sure I've not left anything. What's that there? Bit of rubbish. Like a fag paper, that, so it's not mine. But, doesn't mean you don't clean it up, does it? Kinder's sort of, a bit of clag there. And then the rush up edge. Go over to Mam Tor, just clearing through the mist and cloud now. It's meant to rain later today, so normally when you see cloud coming down like that, it's normally indicated that there's probably some rain or something on the way. Anyway, head down here from Upper Booth down to Barber Booth, and then back along to Hollins Cross. But I really enjoyed that. The, uh, the tent was fantastic, easy to put up, it was rock solid. A um, little bit of condensation, so I might open more vents next time, but inside the tent there was no condensation in the inner tent. It rained quite a bit in the night, no leakage whatsoever, it's one of these silicon coated tents. Um, the air bed I think I might soften a little bit, that was a bit too hard. But I had no cold coming through, through the uh, Exped mat or the firma rest, it was toasty warm. Um, when I go fishing and sleep in a camp bed, I normally get really cold. But that thing, mate, it was a game changer. Anyway, just to fit this gate. Which is going to be a bit interesting with this rucksack. over towards Back Tor and Lewes Hill and the Vale of Edale. We've come from over there, up a booth campsite. It was a lot easier this morning. Where is the carbs I had for breakfast or just came back into it. I've not walked for about a week. It's amazing how much of a difference that makes. But yeah, we're gonna head up here now, join this path coming up here, up to Hollins Cross and back down into Castleton. I thoroughly enjoyed that. A bit wiped out yesterday, but slept okay. Um, learned a few lessons. You know, um, maybe the airbed could be a bit lighter. The pillow is quite bulky, or very comfortable. So I might look at options there, like an inflatable one, one that compresses down a bit smaller. A tent packed away brilliantly. Um, really easy to put up that, and it would be easy in a, in a good wind as well. So I'll have to think about it. I'm going to go camping while camping, probably about once a month, something like that. I don't want to be away from the missus too much. Um, but yeah, maybe up Kinder or something like that next time, or over the back on Bradwell Moor. We'll see. But anyway, we're going to head up here now, get back down to Castleton. Looks like that's been there a while, but I can't recall seeing that on the way down. It must have been looking at the state of it. It's been packed clean, hasn't it? See the leg bones and the spine and whatever, shoulder blades. Yeah. Can't believe I missed that. Anyway, up and over. Here we are again, Hollins Cross. That was a lot easier <laughs> to, yeah, memory of one of the uh, ramblers who used to walk here a lot. But that way is Lewes Hill, and that way is Mam Tor, 
we're going to head back down here the way we came. So we've come all along Edale and up here. But that was a lot easier, whether it's because it's a uh, slightly less angle of descent, or I'm just a bit fitter this morning, I don't know. I really, maybe it's just two points. You see the broken road there? Yeah, really enjoyed that. The pack's really comfortable, I think. I was tightening the belt up and it was too loose and I realised there's two things on each side to tighten it like a dick. So it's been a lot better this morning because I've managed to get all the weight through my hips. So uh, live and learn. Not many people about this time of the morning. It's probably about half eight, something like that. But yeah, really enjoyed that. Good walk, uh, good test. I know my limits now. <laughs> Just got to build up my strength. And there's lovely Hope Valley. All the way down towards Saffersage, Hope, Cement Works, the castle, when it's past, Broken Road, Mamtor. Lovely. Cooling down a bit now on the top and the wind. We're heading down here now, back over to home and a shower and probably a bit of a snooze. When you left, I was so completely gone. That was a good one. A lot easier on the way back. <laughs> but, uh, oh, I'll be glad to get this off. So yeah, um, that was a good four miles there, four miles back. Probably about 800 foot of a cent or something like that with a 15 kilo pack. <laughs> All good fun. Anyway, um, next time I'll go, I'll probably go and do some wild camping, but uh, yeah, good test that. The kit was all right. The firm rest air bed was really good. If not a little hard, the tent was fantastic. Um, really impressed with the OEX jet boil equivalent. That was good as well. Boiled the water so good. The fire pot meals, I don't know if I can justify spending eight quid on those. They were nice, but it's a lot of money. Anyway, enough for that now. So I'll catch you on the next one.